<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, well, we got ourselves another uh, Route 110 video today, and um, we'll just follow our usual route. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say though, um, not much has changed really with the bridge uh, since the last video I made, so what I'm going to try to do to you today is, hopefully if there aren't too many cars blocking the view, um, they actually started paving those those new lanes that they were creating, like and including the new on-ramp for uh, uh, westbound uh, Northern, Northern State Parkway, so I'll try to get a shot of those um, to you if I can, it all depends on how well the traffic is. Yeah, really, what was that all about? Okay. And it's a beautiful day today. It's about maybe 70 degrees right now, or, or it could be the high 60s, one or the other. And I'm getting some sun glare from that car in front of me. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that isn't messing up the video too much. I hope this guy's turning or something, because he's going pretty slow, and I'm not going to try changing lanes while I'm holding a camera. But in a way, that's kind of good. Maybe, I, maybe it gives me more time to show you something. <laughs> We'll just wait. The, um, oh, what I want to say, uh, and, and when we get onto Old Country Road, uh, we're going to be redirected onto some of the new lane that they created. So I guess maybe that's because they're going to tear up uh, the old asphalt on the original lanes at some point, and then um, it'll be all reopened. And I also want to say um, the, uh, the the new set of lights at that left turn lane, going by how they currently look, I think the um, I think the uh, left turn lane is is going to become two left turn lanes because just to the right of the of the left turn arrow is another one that's still shrouded over. So I'm pretty sure that's another left turn signal that's going to be used for the second left turn lane. I'll try to show it to you when when I get up to it. Still, still no new lights up here yet. Oh, and the yellow light, the yellow lights out over here. <laughs> I doubt they're even going to fix that. Since, since this light set's going to be replaced soon. Then again, I said that a couple of months ago, and um, no new lights have been put up yet. So I probably shouldn't say anything. And there's that left turn arrow still turning on when no one's there. Okay, now I'll have to see if I can pan this camera properly. Alright, if you look over here, you can see uh, the new asphalt, the, the new curbs and everything. And there's the new uh, on-ramp right there. And uh, Oh gosh, water just came off the bridge. And uh, the same thing um, here, here, and over there. So, we'll see how, we'll see how all that goes. And I doubt I'm going to make this turn arrow, so get the wipers here for a minute. There we go. 
I can show it better now, actually. There you go. There's a new lane. And there's a new lane over there, all the new asphalt. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make this turn arrow. And unfortunately, I gotta wait till it goes green again with these new lights. But in a way that's probably safer. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna make that. And we just wait. One of the biggest problems with this area right now, though, is that uh, a lot of times... Uh, by the way, before I continue on that, there's the shrouded turn signal right there. Um, one of the problems with this area right now, though, is that a lot of times when the cars from the direction over there make their left turn over to here, they really back up and then block the turn lane when the arrow goes green, and it's really annoying. But, I mean, today's Sunday, and Sunday tends to have lighter traffic, so maybe it won't be so bad, but we'll have to see. Not going to make any guarantees on that. Okay, that's going red. So, um... By the way, do you see how long that yellow light is on that light? It's, like, absolutely perfect. They really did a good job on timing that properly. And there's also a shrouded light uh, right there, the, ed the edge of my finger. Right there. That one's, that one's still shrouded over. That's probably for the extra lane that they're building on the right. Okay, and here these cars go. Hopefully it won't be too, uh... Hopefully it won't be too, um, backed up when the arrow turns. Actually, no, I don't think it will be. Oh, that was good, actually. Alright, here we go. And here's where I said they've redirected the lanes. You can see that they've painted a new yellow line for the time being. Oh, here's a new lane, by the way. You can see it's uh, all finished up for the most part. Now you can see we're being redirected onto brand new asphalt here. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the lane that they built, uh, you know, a few months ago or whatever. And they'll probably uh, fix that once they get this all paved. And as you can see now, these uh, new lights here are in full operation. So uh, they finally got those working. Just wait for it to turn green. Yeah, as it turns out, a lot of the, mo the uh, town lights nowadays are mostly going with the mast arms, but uh, but the county lights and the state lights are still going with span wire, so I'm happy about that. And there we go. And I think I'll just go over this brand new paved road again for you. W once I get to the next bridge, um, I'll stop there. I have no idea if this traffic light is a county light or not, but hopefully it stays for a while. All looks very good. All right, guys, and there you have it. So, uh, and there's the bridge. So, hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.